Mummy's little dummies. Into my so-called wildflower bed. Anyways, it's time to show us what we got at the yard sale and turf shop. So we'll set this up and take a look. Okay, we're going to do all the small stuff first and then come back and do the base. And we'll, do a, we'll do a bit of a flyby too. So, anyways, so most of this stuff comes from uh, the surf store. The only exception was these pieces here. So, two dog reflectors for their leashes from these dog bowls that pops out. Not that we go far enough from home that we need it. And they also had a pair of these embroidered fingerless gloves. So, they're tourist stuff. But anyways, that, that all was uh, $3. Plus, um, that's three terrific ones. Anyways, uh, don't look at that. We'll go to our thrift store stuff. The big stuff that I thought I was going to buy last weekend at the thrift store sale in this big yard sale, I ended up with a candle snuffer and a Looks like a tea bag rest or spoon rest. So that was a that weekend was a grand total of seventy five cents until I went out to get some ice cream and found the women selling this stuff. So, being as I bought so many candles lately, we started buying candle stuff. So I found one of these at the first stop, and she goes, "Oh, you want another one?" So. We got a pair, and I found some uh, citronella votives for in them, and we'll, then we we'll go start doing our coffee challenge outside, we'll uh, pull them out. And then we got two brass candlesticks, 50 cents a piece, like a big spender. This one even says something on the bottom. Got to excuse all the glasses. I'm trying to be oh, okay. Just tells you how to polish it. Uh, Fresnel, large Fresnel lens that was in the quarter bin. Uh, a conch shell. Eh, it's not the greatest I've seen, but it's not bad for three dollars. And. These are supposed, I think, are party like candlesticks. And I got them for $2 for two, the two of them. I imagine they were more expensive than that when they were bought. Anyways, we got a few cups to kitty cat mug. Just a really ugly little mug. And a Dominican, fancy Dominican Republic one. All right, we're going to take the camera and do a flyby, and then we'll move some of this stuff out so we can do the big stuff. And here we go. Here's her. These two. These are Ikea, they're not very expensive. Oh, I forgot this lamp. Anyways, there's a tag onto it. It was stolen back in 1971. Uh, anyways, I picked that up this morning with the tools. And uh, I like the, the shape of the, the glass on it. And okay, here's our other stuff. Candlesticks, the gloves, dog dish, cups, and more candlesticks. So we have to put all this stuff away and we'll get out the big guns. Now, 
Did I actually record what I just saw to record it? Or it's in the thick bit of rain and So anyways, let's start over. Let me just do the, the big stuff again. You've got a 12-inch large frying pan. Needs cleaning. Old school per aluminum percolator. Needs to be cleaned. Coffee cup for Christmas time. This is a stainless steel you know, stainless steel. Teflon line frying pan and some wooden utensil things. Yeah, what else we got? We have a propane lantern, a Dorsey. Supposedly has electronic ignition. Oh yeah. So we'll put that up on the shelf with the rest of it. Chainsaw sharpener, chain sharpener. So, the gold screw. I don't have chainsaw. Now. And this is a sharpening wheel system for sharpening drill bits and plain uh, blades and stuff like that. So. We'll give that a try as well. And that should be it for today. Oh, this bug killer. And that's about it. So, this may be a rerun, or it may be first run. So, anyways, uh, see you next week.